E-R-C. Today we're going to teach you how to use your Spectra S1 or S2 pump. Um, the only difference between these two pumps is that the S1 can run on a battery, which is, uh, has a three-hour battery life. So now we're going to put together the pump parts. You will have seven parts on each side. Um, and so we want you to know that there are two different size flanges in the package from Spectra. One is a 24 and one is a 28. So first we have our backflow protector. There's three parts. We have the white duck bill, your tubing, your wide neck bottles, and your flange. Once all your parts are together, you can attach the tubing. The tubing goes into the back of the backflow protector and then plug into the pump here. You have the option of pumping on one breast or both. If you choose to pump on one breast, you will need to cover the vacuum nozzle with the air cap. So let's just have a short conversation about the breast shields or flanges for the pump. They come in a variety of sizes and you want the one that is comfortable for you and that drains milk well. There are various ways to measure for the correct size. Your Spectra pump comes with a 24 and 28 millimeter flange you can order other sizes as needed. They also come in 20 millimeter and 32 millimeter if you need to go larger or smaller. There are other companies that make an even greater variety if you should need them. Spectra has a helpful guide and the link is in the description of the video. Once you measure your nipple circumference, you'll want to add two to three millimeters to that and that is your starting point. You may have to try various sizes to get the right fit. Sometimes the Spectra can be overwhelming when you first take it out of the box because of all the buttons, but it's very simple. First, we'll talk about the buttons on the S1 and the pink buttons on the S2. The one in the middle turns the machine on and the one on the side is your light to make pumping in the dark much easier. Then you have two white buttons on the left, two on the right, and one in the middle. The one in the middle is your letdown button and we'll get to that one in just a minute. The two white buttons on the left adjust the cycle. This changes the speed of the sucks. When babies nurse, they start suckling quickly at first and as the milk flows, the suck flows. You want to mimic the baby's suck, so you start at 70. Once the milk starts flowing, you can decrease it to 38 all the way up to 54. Some people go back to the faster setting once the milk flows, the milk flow starts to slow down. The two buttons on the right adjust the suction or the vacuum. You want to put the suction to the highest level that is still comfortable for you. Pumping should not hurt. In the massage mode, you can take it from vacuum one all the way up to five. And the expression mode, you can go from one to 12. You're just gonna find your comfort zone. Next, you're going to center your nipple into the breast shield or flange. Turn the pump on, then immediately hit the let down button, the one with the squiggly lines. This puts the cycle at its fastest setting, 70 sucks per minute. Adjust the suction, and once you see the milk flowing, then hit the letdown button again to move it to the slower cycles. Pumping should be for about 15 minutes. Remember, if it hurts or you feel like you didn't drain your breast appropriately, you may need a different size breast shield. When finished, wash the pump parts separately with hot soapy water, rinse, and let them air dry.